I know I'm going to drop that. I'm just sealing this because of the rust on these springs and uh, it may just make the uh, wood last a bit longer if it gets wet. That's the only reason. I know they're cheaper and easier ways of doing this but when I was looking on the internet how to repair a seat what they should be saying is how to replace a seat I'm not that guy so I first of all don't have the uh, money lying around for a stupid seat and this is not that difficult, so... It's the only reason why I'm doing it. Thank you. 
hang this up to dry somewhere. Mm.
Let me hang these things up to dry. Okay, so here we are today. This is all nicely painted up and dry. Here are these other sections, all dry and ready to go. I need to take that off. That's still good. So on this other side, Okay, so here's the pressure switch, top and bottom on the, on the pressure switch. I uh, sealed it inside a vacuum sealer because there wasn't enough space on the plastic to act on the, uh, yeah, on the plastic bag to actually seal that. So I put it all inside a new plastic bag with a hole at the bottom there so it's not compressed and I'm going to put some silica gel in underneath the seat just in case there's some moisture gets in here somehow for the actual seat this uh smells like it's a little musty so that may help with that so uh that's the bottom there's the top uh, Put that in there. This wire goes around here. Through the hole. Do a last test of the of the pressure switches. Let me turn this fan off. So I had that fan going to help the uh, um, help the paint dry. So I think we are good to go. Switch that off. So, that's how that needs to look afterwards. I'm going to use my E6000 again.
don't know if this is going to work, but Put a weight down on there. Leave that for a couple of hours and we'll go from there. Okay.
Okay, let me glue that on. So, we find another two clamps here. I need two bigger clamps that I can hold this down with.
leave it like that to dry. Okay, here we are today. I've let the sides uh, glue down with the silicon. I had to put some more clamps on here just to hold it down so that there was enough pressure for that. You can see they, they're real loose though. So let me take those off. seem to be fairly well glued down okay turn it over you can see the it's it's loose over there it's what it looks like which is just from the clamp on there I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a couple of wood screws through here just to hold this down so I could uh, staple it and then uh, I'll take them out again. Okay. Okay, I've got my my wood screws down. I don't want to get 
too close to the edge over here. Have you gone? How did you get another one? Got another one. So, I'm just gonna hold that together while I staple it all back together and then I'll possibly remove those screws I'm gonna have the same spring so I've got a front and a back I know this is the front this is the back
Okay, and here I've got a, a central pneumatic white crown stapler. Nothing coming to out. It has to be spring loaded somehow. Ah, I had them in the wrong side. All right, they go down there. I thought they were a little tight. There you go. Let's try that again. I had the staples in the wrong side. They actually go in there. I replaced the screws with some slightly longer screws. I'm just going to use the uh, DeWalt to get that in. Sounds better. If I get the safety sallies after me. Put my eye protection on, which I should have had on. If you find you're going a little deep with your staples, you just adjust this ring over here and then it... Uh, doesn't penetrate. You now that's the mark, the edge where that was before. So
So I've got a couple of rusted staples sticking in there, so get rid of those. There we go. Let's just do a final test. Continuity. Good to go. All right, let me do the install. I think that looks good. <laughs> 